hi welcome back to another video um we're going to do a gel polish set and i'm going to use madame glam's peppermint kiss uh which i've just had from their recent collection so i thought i'd give it a go i wanted to do a valentine set but in green just for something different instead of doing red sets all the time so i'm going to do two coats i'll do the second coat off camera and I'm also going to uh, matte top coat two of them. So on these two, I'm going to use um, the little silver hearts that I've got in the dish on the screen. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of base coat down in a heart and pop it on there and use it as a frame. Now... It wasn't sitting completely flush and flat so I wiped the base coat back off it and bent it a little bit and it still wasn't sitting flat so off again and then I used just a handle off one of my brushes just to bend it a little bit more. I did both of them actually at the same time. They're really easy to bend. Uh, I'm just replenishing that base coat and then that will go in the lamp to cure. I'm going to do exactly the same on this one. Going to make sure they're both level where they should be or as level as possible right next up i am going to put some base coat inside the heart so i'm going to just no actually tell a lie i do believe that was top coat i must have done it in top coat don't know why i thought it was base coat Losing the plot. <laughs> right, I've got this. It's called Sand. Um, it's from the range and it's just in the craft section. Um, I don't think it's meant to be for doing nails, but I'm using it. So I just wanted some like green type pieces of rock, if you know what I mean. Um, it's ever so light. And once it's inside that heart and it's been cured, it's not going to move anywhere. Now, you'll laugh at this bit. Get ready for my big blooper. So, I filled the middle again with some top coat. Now, watch what I do. Oh, dear. Yes, that's me way too much on <laughs> it went from not moving in the bag to completely coming out everywhere oh, always rely on me I was too busy laughing at myself I was <laughs> right I'm um, sort of moving pieces around just to make sure that they are all inside that frame uh, then those two are going to get top coated and those two nails are done nice and easy uh, my top coat does go over the top of the silver heart but right up against those uh, I like to call them little rocks because that's what they are um, so it sort of keeps them more in place and definitely keeps that heart in place as well they are going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds on to the next Right, you know those little pots of goodies what you get from AliExpress and you get various uh, pieces of chain in them and some nice pointy back crystals and some big gems, that sort of stuff. I think they're about £1.20. Um, it's like party in a pot, basically. This one, I had this chain in and it is silver and pearl. So I've chopped it in half 
and I've put a layer of base coat down so I'm actually going to sit it in the base coat because I wasn't sure how big the heart was going to be so because I've chopped it in two I'm going to do basically a heart on on two of them um, and obviously they're going to have half a heart each so that is going to sit in the base coat as I said it's not going to move anywhere once it's cured and we will be top coating right up to it as well so that will keep it in place uh, this was about the most difficult bit was trying to get this one to match the other one without it falling off but we got there in the end god I don't know faff such a faffa <laughs> I amaze myself how much I faff when I watch it back right next up I've got some gem glue and I want to finish this off by popping some silver caviar beads on each join of that chain so I'm going to bore you to death. I'm going to do the outside of the heart on this one, then put it in the lamp. And while that one's in the lamp, I do the inside of the other one. I didn't want to do both inside and out in case it the uh, caviar beads moved. So I did like half, half and half. So I'm going to do the inside on this one. So we are doing caviar beads both sides of the heart. It just made it, yeah, just finished it off nice, made it look nice. Once that is done and they are cured, I'm going to top coat those. And then they will go in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, we're on to the last nail. Uh, I've got some gem glue out because I'm going to use some of the pointy back crystals. Uh, we are just going to get a little bit of that sticky gem glue and I'm going to pop some near the top. And then I'm going to use three of the pointy back crystals and I'm just going to uh, put one at the top pointing as in point down, pointing down, and then the other two are going to butt up to it. So it's like a triangle. This is going to also have uh, some caviar beads pushed up the side to fill the space. And I'm just pulling out a green heart because we are going to have green heart on there as well I haven't used these yet um, they're just Aliexpress ones nice and cheap and what I'm going to do with the caviar beads as well is uh, in a second I am going to surround that heart in caviar beads that is going to go in gem glue as well. And then underneath the heart, I'm going to do another three pointy back gems uh, in the same order, but switched around the other way so two will be putting up against the bottom of the heart and one will be on the end so we're going to go in with another bit of gem glue i love that gem glue it's so sticky and once it's on it's not coming off
and last of all uh, I've just pulled my half pearls out so I'm going to put a little pearl on each end just to finish that nail off so it ties in with the chain which has got pearls on it and then I'm just going to go in with some caviar beads and that will be finished on the gems uh, that's just got to be top coated and I think that will be the set finished yes I think it is um, if you want anything from Madam Glam I have left my bit.ly link on the screen uh, and my code is on there you shouldn't need to put the code in if you use my link uh, if not go on to Madam Glam's website and then put my code in is the normal way and that is them done uh, I hope you like them please do leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you've not already and leave me a like I am just polishing that little gem because it had got like a fingerprint on it where I'd pressed it on basically either that or it was a bit of wax off my wax tool see I'm still faffing <laughs> right thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye Thank you.